Greetings comrades, Multigame Master one report again and welcome back to Let's Play 100% Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode, we started spelunking in the Glitter Gulch Mine and in this episode, we're going to continue our spelunking adventures inside the Glitter Gulch Mine. Now to start off, we're going to activate this teleportation pad inside Wumba's wigwam which is very convenient for us. And yes, Humba Wumba will transform us into something here, but we're actually going to cover that a little bit later. Right now I want to travel to the crushing shed and then come over here because I believe that upon this entrance, we will find a toxic cave of some kind. And indeed, this is a toxic gas cave. Here's a signpost right here. Anything that goes through the grinders will come out in pieces, including Jiggies. That's a rather interesting note. We'll have to make a note of that. You'll see your air meter display on the left side of the screen, and normally this shows up whenever you're underwater, and if you lose all your air, you die instantly by drowning. In toxic and airless environments such as this, whenever you run out of air, you'll start to lose energy instead, and you will suffocate to death, so whatever it is you need to do inside places like this, make sure you get it done quickly and then get out before you lose all your energy. It is however worth it so that you can get all of the goods inside. With that explained, let's follow the tracks and see what else we can find in the Glitter Gulch Mine. I'm still hoping that we can find Mumbo Jumbo in this point, because well, we really need his help in taking care of our giant boater problem, the one with an image of a jiggy on it. Look at that, there's Mumble Skull. How convenient. But we're actually going to worry about that a little later. Right now, let's just take care of a few other things. We'll start off by smashing this boater to bits with the bell drill. Pretty effective. And pick up this magical gobo. And before we do anything else, we're actually going to travel back to Humba Wumba's wigwam so we can transform into whatever it is she'll transform us into. So through the teleportation pad we go. We will give the magical gobo to Humba Wumba, toss it in the pool, and now we jump inside. Our second transformation is a detonator. There's a pro and con to this detonator, by the way. One might call this detonator. Use left stick to move and press X for self-destruct attack. The pro to this transformation is that you can destroy just about anything you want to with the self-destruct attack and this includes crates and enemies. The con, however, is that it costs you one unit of energy and I'll demonstrate right now. So as you can see, every time you use the move, the self-destruct attack, you'll lose one unit of energy. So try not to use it excessively, otherwise you'll find yourself blown to bits. This transformation is also pretty useful for taking care of a few problems that require explosives. And yes, I'm referring to the TNT barrel that we've seen. All you have to do to detonate it is to get the detonator close to it, and it will do the rest of the work for you. And as you saw right there, the TNT barrel blew up, and all the rocks are gone, which means now, that box can move freely. Be free, little guy, whatever you are inside. I wonder what kind of box that is, by the way, with the designs of the stars and planet. Is there a Buzz Lightyear toy inside? And yes, I'm referencing Toy Story. By the way, brand new enemy, a dig it, that's a live shovel. Watch out for that. Wait, now what's wrong? door's not open on the other side! Bleep! Oh great, as if we didn't have enough problems. Well, we can't really do anything about it right now because that passageway takes us to another world and we really can't go anywhere else while we're transformed into something, so we're gonna worry about that a little later. Right now, let's just travel elsewhere and see if we can blow up some other stuff because, honestly, I feel like blowing stuff up. So let's see, anything else that we can destroy around here? With us being a detonator? There's another TNT barrel. Let's get close to it and blow up those rocks. It is a little bit difficult to get the detonator in place so that you can destroy the TNT barrels with one explosive, but it's not really all that bad. Inside we have Canary Mary. 
Over here! I need you to help me out of this frightful predicament! Who might you be? I'm Canary Mary. They used to send me down the mines to check for gas. If I died, they'd know it wasn't safe. Nice! I can think of more pleasant jobs. They just left me in here. I don't think I'll last much longer. Don't worry. I'll get Kazooie here to smash the cage open. If I must. Or we could just use an explosion to destroy the cage. The cage can be destroyed with any attack anyway. Woohoo! I'm free! It's moments like this that make adventuring worthwhile. Indeed it is. But wait a second. She's supposed to have a reward for us. Where the heck is Canary Mary going? If she honestly thinks that she's going to fly away from us without giving us a reward for setting her free, she's got another thing coming. I wonder where it is that she's heading to anyway. She's flying rather slowly as well. You'd think that she'd be flying fast at this point, but I guess she was so used to that cave that her speed was reduced. Wait, why is she over at the minecart? I guess we're gonna find out later on. Let's see what else we can blow up around here. I think that there's another TNT barrel beyond this passageway over here. If I could possibly reach for ground over here. Let's see, travel down this passageway, and I believe at this point we'll find a TNT barrel. Yes, there is one. Danger, keep out, hogwash. Nothing's dangerous. Well, some things aren't dangerous at the least. We're actually going to check that out a little bit later. I think that there's one more TNT barrel that we can self-destruct around here. If I could just recall where it is exactly. Oh, I know where it is. But in order for us to get at it, we have to travel to Mumble Skull. And then proceed down here to the mine entry number two. Just as I remembered. So get close to the TNT barrel and the detonator will do the rest of the work for you. And behind bars you will find a Jinjo that you can rescue if the detonator can fit inside. Detonator, thank you. You're free little buddy. And as you see right there, we have to rescue two orange Jinjos to get something from them. Now that's everything that we can do as a detonator, so we're actually going to head back to Wumba's Wigwam and transform back into Banjo and Kazooie. So let's go ahead and do that. Back into the pool we go. I wonder if Banjo and Kazooie ever feel sick whenever they need to transform. I mean, I most certainly would. Transformation is really not what I would get used to, especially if it involves you transforming into something else. It's just... In a sense, I would say it's kind of unsanitary, for my taste. Here's Canary Mary again. Hey there, Canary Mary. Why are you still around? Oh, my wings are still a bit stiff from spending so long in that cage. How about a race to help me stretch them? On this old handcart? I'm sure it was broken when I saw it last was, but I fixed it and put it back on the track. You're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? I like to try. Jump aboard if you fancy a go. Sounds like fun. What do we do? Simply tap X as fast as you can to drive the handcart along. We will accept their challenge. Ready? Three, two, one. Go! This better be worth it in the end, Canary Mary. So, Canary Mary now challenges you to a race, and what you have to do to get a prize from her is to simply beat her. Like she explained before, you just simply have to tap the X button repeatedly as fast as you can to drive the minecart along the tracks. Try to stay ahead of her at all times if you can. Although, like she said before, her wings are stiff, so... It is potentially an easy victory for you, but trust me, later on in the game, she does get difficult. 
And don't worry too much about the hand cart being off balance because it really won't be thrown off the track whatsoever. Red Jinjo! I can't believe I just passed that Red Jinjo! We're gonna have to get it later. We're almost to the finish line from here. Not much more to go. And... Go! Hurry up, Canary Mary. Get over here. And thus, we have won the race. Now, let's see what kind of prize she'll give us. I think we beat you there, Mary. Well, I guess you can have this shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Is it a Jiggy? I can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Ew! I'm not sure we want it in that case. Suck it up, Kazooie. We're gonna take it with us anyway. That was a fine race. Sure was. My wings are starting to feel better. How about racing back again? Hop on the cart if you think you can beat me again. First we'll take the Jiggy, and then activate this teleportation pad and challenge her to another race. Oh, but before we do, let's actually head up here and smash this boulder with the bill drill. And inside, we have the second orange Jinjo. And with those two orange Jinjos rescued, we can now get a special prize from them. What is the prize, you may ask? You'll see in just a moment. Already we rescue the first color Jinjo family. Many thanks! Our family is reunited, so our heirloom is yours. And after rescuing every member of the Jinjo family within a certain color, you get a Jiggy in return. So keep an eye out for more Jinjos. Oh, and speaking of which, there was one Jinjo on the track that we have to rescue, so let's travel in that region first before we challenge Canary Mary to yet another race. And yes, you do want to challenge Canary Mary to another race because if you do beat her a second time, you'll get a Cheeto page in return. Here's that Jinjo. Halfway there from rescuing them all. And now let's head back and challenge Canary Mary to yet another race. Gosh, I am really running out of things to say at this point. Well, I guess there is... Whoa. One thing that I could talk about. But that'll be during the race. Yes, let's go. And here we go again. So it's... The second verse, same as the first. Just beat her in the race, and the prize is yours. And again, it's the X button to move the handcart. Now, while we're racing Canary Mary, I guess I could talk about this. I was originally planning to start off my intro in a different way, considering the fact that we were in Glitter Gulch Mine. And the new intro would be... Howdy, partners. This is Multigame Master 1. But, well, we really wouldn't be down here for long, so I just decided not to do that. Although, maybe it would be entertaining if I did do that. But, no, I think I'll just stick with my usual intro. It's, uh, actually pretty catchy. Oh, man, that was exhausting. My arms are a bit sore. But, we beat Canary Mary. That's two out of two for us, Mary. Perhaps you like this piece of paper as a prize. It's been wedged in my... No! I don't want to know where it's been. I don't think I want to either. I think I've spent quite enough time in this gloomy old mine. I'm off to swoop and soar among the clouds. Bye bye, friends! Perhaps we'll see each other again. Maybe so, Canary Mary. See you later. Glad we can help you out with your wings. Let's see, where can we travel to next? Well, how much time do we have? Okay, we still have a little bit of it left. Let's see, where can we go? Oh, I know! There is a passageway next to the crushing shed that we can explore. So let's make our way over there. 
We're gonna worry about that boulder in the next episode. Right now, let's just go through here and see what's beyond this passageway. Hey there, Billy Bob. So we are now in the flooded caves. And I can see why they call it the flooded caves. It's gonna be really challenging to get all the goods down here. In this passageway, we have eggs. It's uh pretty good. Oh good, places in which you can breathe. Let's see what's through this tube. Now keep in mind guys that while you're down here, you won't be able to travel up to the surface of the water because there's potentially no place in which you can go to to get some more air. Everything's just flooded. Oh, this is actually the way out. I need to travel back, actually, because there is something that we can find in here. So let's see, is it, I think it's, well, it's, it's through that pipe over there, but let's see what's in here first. Honeycomb, not much of a big deal. I mean, we're full on energy. All right, let's see what's through here. The treasure that we're searching for is through this passageway anyway. There we go. Jiggy! And along the way, we have Billy Bob's in the dark. By the way, you can also use fire eggs to light up dark places, as you saw right there. And thus, that's our next Jiggy. Now let's make our way out of here if we possibly can. Because we really don't want to be here forever, especially in flooded caves. Otherwise, we probably drown to death. Um, uh, I swear this was the way to go. Oh, I made a wrong turn. Okay. Gosh, I really need to speed this up. Come on, Kazooie, swim faster. You too, Banjo. Alright, I think the way out is through here. Is it through this passageway? Yes, it is. Okay, there we go. And with that, we can now leave the flooded caves. Billy Bob! Out of my way. And we're back in the waterfall cavern. It's pretty much a straight shot forward, back to the mines from here. Whoa! TNT crates. That's one other thing I forgot to mention. Enemies that you defeat will respawn within a short amount of time, so be ready for that. Yeehaw, Billy Bob! Okay, we made it back to the Glitter Gulch Mine, and with that, we're out of time for this episode, so we're gonna stop here. In the next episode, we're going to see if we can get Mumbo's help to deal with this boulder, and also do some other stuff within Glitter Gulch Mine. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until the next episode, this is Multi Game Master 1. Over and out. See you later, comrades.